What's up, it's your boy Juan, and I'm here with Sim. Then we finna get this video started. Go check out my music if you ain't checked it out already. But yeah, we finna get into this video, uh, this reaction. You know what I'm saying? We doing the, uh, <laughs> it's an interview on the pimp. Yeah, baby, nah, nah. We ain't thinking about pimping or nothing like that. You feel me? We just reacting. Uh, it's by the dude, um, White Underbelly. You feel me? Off his page, you know what I'm saying? They, they do all kinds of crazy tragedies and, you know, pimping and all that other stuff. But we, you feel me? We just, we gonna get to it. It's uh, an interview on uh, Bishop Dunn Magic One. Make sure you go like and comment, you feel me? Make sure you comment, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe, hit the noted bell, and uh, yeah, man, we finna get to it. So, without further ado, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that nigga shot, though, he gonna cap. The wig. You got the bottom. Got the little glass. Is that fur? Oh, <laughs> Bishop Don Magic Wan. My old friend from uh, our old days in Chicago. Uh, Bishop, where'd you, where'd you grow up? Born and raised in Chicago. You know, uh, the west side of Chicago, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, come up in the family, you know, with eight of us and uh, father died early, so with the mother with no father and, you know, uh, we had to decide what we wanted to do, and you know, coming up in the inner city, it ain't that many opportunities. You know, you either want to be a drug dealer, burglar, or car thief, or, you know, a murderer. You know, I didn't want none of that. Okay, first of all, I want to come here to say, like, I've been noticing, like, a lot of these, like, pimps and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they've been coming out of Chicago. LA. I don't know what's going on up there. Or oh, if they ain't got other opportunities for real. Or you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't I ain't judging cause you know it's like that everywhere, but that's why I've been I've been peeping that like they've been coming out of Chicago, LA. Oh uh, just you feel me like the the places that are really jumping. Yeah. But uh yeah man, like And you know that's uh, that's been crazy to me. I chose to be a ladies man. And how would you describe your childhood? I would describe my childhood as coming up in the inner city. You know, that makes it look cute, I would say, the ghetto. But uh, in my early childhood, you know, uh, I was really blessed. Uh, my father, you know, uh, he took me from my mother at an early age because they had split up. And uh, my father had a restaurant three buildings, ice cream parlor. So, you know, I would sport at a very early age, you know. So uh, I used to come and spend the weekends with my other sisters and brothers and bring them potato chips and candy and ice cream from my father's store <laughs> when he passed. And then I had to come live with my mother. And he was you know, telling us in the house you know, ain't no money. I had to figure that out for ourselves. That was my early childhood. Did you have uh, role models that kind of showed you this game? Hold on, hold on, think? bro. You see that? Clear my trip. Bro, just get that out here, no, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say that. Figure that out for ourselves. <laughs> I seen that too. That was my early childhood. Did you have a uh, oh, oh, that nigga was tripping, bro. <laughs> role model? No, it wasn't no role model. It's like, you know, the kid in the suburb would see doctors and lawyers coming out the house. I don't even know you could do that. Me sitting on the porch, yeah, I see dope dealers and pimps <laughs> come out the house with three, four girls, sharp, dressed in suits with diamonds, and getting in a big, flashy car. I said, that's how I want to be when I grow up. And you started pimping at what age? I started in the gang at, you know, something like 16. Dang. You know, um, I had what we call when you get turned out to the gang, like boosters. I used to take girls shopping 
and they used to go in these different stores at the mall, steal different merchandise, and at the end of the day, we would, you know, chop it up, you know, give me a third of the merchandise for me driving them out there and different things like that until my gang <laughs> elevated into the pimp gang, you know, but the early part of the gang coming into it, 16, 17, you know, I'm out in the streets and trying to find a way. Like I said, I didn't want to do them other things like sell dope and drugs because that wasn't my makeup. So I was blessed to be able to become a ladies man because what happened is early in my childhood, me and my sister, Amma used to go to school together, and uh, she used to tell me, boy, the girls like you. And I just I just took to that, and I ran with it. Way. I was young at 16 and 15, yeah. things like that, when uh, girls used to come ask my mother, can they take me shopping with their check? Early yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the arrangement with a girl and a pimp? So you make, you, you, she makes the money and brings you how much of it? The arrangement is how I make the arrangement. And it go like this. You make the money and you bring me all of it. And I decide on how we chop it up and how we make it happen. My responsibility is to be her everything. Her mother, her father, her sister, her brother, her lover, her daddy. All of these things. So in my time of playing the pep game, my women never did have to really go shopping. I did all of their shopping. They make the money and I supply everything. We used to go to the medical center every three months. They know when I come in to check the girl, make sure they didn't have any kind of disease and that they was all right. I played it on the top shelf how it was supposed to go. Once my game became official like a referee with a whistle, I was off and running. <laughs> Once I became number one in the game, I started using one game. 13 years in a row. And that's being voted by your peers, the players in different states. Oh, and those no, no, that understand the game is a uh, quieter by who doing the best. <laughs> the whistle, but that nigga the ball, man. The car, the clothes, the jewelry, the oh, diamond, really? your women, the respect you get in the street, that's a criteria that the player have to acquire in order to become pimp or player of the year. How many girls have you had, or how many girls would you have at one time? Oh, I had a stable, and the stable consists of seven females. And my stable was so powerful because I didn't just have flat back. And what I mean by flat back is females that go out to prostitute and all they do is sell that split between their legs. I had thieves, professional thieves that know how to wow. go and bring 10,000, Rolex, Cartier, you know what I mean, furs home, you did, And that's what made my game top chef because I had the best of the best of the street like females. I was considered number one on being able to work them black girls. It was a struggle, man, but I played it. You, you've had <laughs> girls of all races, right? Well, yeah, I have girls of all races, but my official thing was black girls, and black girls wasn't easy to handle. And I want to tell you a story about a black girl. Her name was Michelle. She was like, you know, my bottom chick. I mean, she would bring home other chicks that made my gang solid. And, you know, I had my girls working on the west side on this street called Lake Street, Lake and Halston. And I didn't lie my girl to date blacks. And so a black guy pulled up to date her a trick. And she refused to date him. And he shot her five times. Mm -hmm. A couple of bullets in her head and her body. And she was rushed to the county hospital in Chicago. I got the call that this had taken place. And me and my sister, and we went to the hospital, which was the county hospital at the time. And when I got there, her mother was there and her sister was there with her. And I walked in with my sister. And as soon as she seen me, she laying there with tubes and her, you know, IV everywhere. And the first thing she said when she saw me, she said, Daddy, I can't wait to get out of this bed to go get <laughs> you your money. Man. <laughs> Man, that hello, man. <laughs> Not to get shot five times. What you'd do if you was the doctor and you just sitting there? 
And you heard your bitch just say that. <laughs> My old been licking up papers, licking at his last name and all that, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. I'm just sitting right here just like that. <laughs> what the hell? Mother looked at me and said, what have you done to my child? I said, nothing. <laughs> it's just dedication, ma'am. Pure dedication. Man, That's the real, same man. female that would get shot in the leg on the stroke, Ooh. run home, tie up her leg, change wig, and go right back to work. Man. It was a dedicated process. Man, it was no by way. choice, not by force. Well, will you have sex with the girls? Well, if she choosing to... Yeah, yeah, I had some much love you got to have for somebody. I had some very beautiful <laughs> yes. young no ladies. I mean, it was young, tender, and wow, we. And it was just amazing to have such That's a stable, crazy. quality, beautiful black women. And it was amazing. You know, I used to lay in the bed, you know, the thought of that with seven chicks, and you know what I mean? Having a chick on every arm and every limb and being able to be able to satisfy and enjoy that thrill is every man's, you know, imagination. And you, the girls would work where? On the street? Mm -hmm. The girls work on the street corner? The girls would work on the street corner. They would set up dates and work in the hotel, wherever the money called, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you use the street corner for instant cash, you know what I mean? If, you know, some uh, trick set up a date, for future action, you know what I mean? All is well on that too, but you know, majority, you know, you pimping, you know, you on that concrete, you know what I mean? You got them chicks standing out there, you know what I mean? Seven, eight, 17 hours a day, depending hours. on the paper and how they getting their money, you know what I mean? You reward honesty and you know, a chick that's blessing the table, you know what I mean, putting it on the drum. You know, she might get a little day off, she might get a chance to go out and have a ball and enjoy herself or pick her favorite piece of jewelry or materialistic thing, whatever it is, you know what I mean? And that's why I was considered such a good pimp because I gave back, you know, my chicks look like I look. You know, it wasn't that I had on diamonds and they did. They wore diamonds too. They wore me coats too. They had custom made threads on. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, we was matching. You yeah. did? You did uh, prison time? At some uh -huh. point? Had you done prison time at some point? Prison? No, I never did time in the prison, and I don't think there's no play for a player. My game was official like a referee because I played it as a player, not as a thief, not as a robber, not as a burglar, and none of them things. I send a chick in my place to do all them things, so I wouldn't have to have to do that. That was the thought of having a prostitute that you would do <laughs> your crazy. business so that you don't have to do that. No, I've never been to the penitentiary. As a matter of fact, I never did drugs. I don't even curse, you know what I mean? And when my girl was into that, you know, getting drugs from the tricks and different things like that, I didn't want it. I would give it away, you know what I mean? Because I know that if you put that drug in their vein, you was gonna lose your game. So your girls would be mostly drug free? Huh? Your girls would be drug free, or they some of them would uh, use. We we smoked weed, and we even at a yeah, time I smoked the PCP, which is known to be a illegal drug, very it. powerful. Drug. But you know what I mean? Cocaine, harem, and all that kind of stuff. Acid, PLC, and all that was out. You know what I mean? It was not a part of my game because I know one thing: I wasn't gonna be able to play my game as on that level if that was involved. I've seen a lot of players that were top flight get crossed out because they make drugs in their game. So you're from Chicago, so as am I, which is where we know each other from. But what, how is the pimp game different in different parts of the country? Oh, whatever it was, yeah, they know. You talking about 2020 or a period? Or either one. Well, one thing about it, like everything in life, uh, is the time for it. and. Uh, the pimp thing in its glory days was best in the 70s, early 80s, and then it drifted off into the drug game. A lot of pimps got hooked, their females got hooked, and it changed the course of the game because it was no honor, no respect, 
in the gang. A lot of top five players that thought they could play the drug gang and pimp cross their cells out because they got hooked on it, their females got hooked on it. She left them going to the drug dealer to continue to get her habits satisfied. So it completely put a black eye on the gang. A lot of guys that were dedicated to the gang, like myself, they continued to strive because they were striving on the success of their knowledge, not on a drug, uh, not on manipulation, but purely just telling the truth to a female. You know, what I told my girls that, hey, I go to Hollywood, you go into Hollywood with me. And I did that. If I go to the White House, you go on with me. I took them to Washington. We went to the gates of the White House. I mean, a woman can appreciate a man that say what he mean and mean what he say. I'm not saying I didn't have uh, struggles and difficulty. Other pimps trying to pull guns on me. I didn't knock pimps and they didn't want to receive or accept the bumping. I had my ups and downs, but I was dedicated to the game to be able to play the game fair, play the game the right way. I didn't want no shortcut or no easy way to becoming number one. I wanted to grind from the concrete to the executive suite so I'd be to earn what I received. And it wouldn't be no doubts about Bro, why this nigga like motivated me right now? Not, not on no paper, but yeah, yeah. I hear what you say. I know what you say. Hold on, man. I, I might need to do a little more. He he really like disciplined with what he do. Like, yeah, like you can always, you feel me? Like take what somebody's saying yep. like, and apply it to your own life. Like I ain't talking about like I'm gonna be a pimp or nothing. Cause like I won't just far the, from just that. But of, just like me with my music. Yeah, like the way he talking about this, bro. Like. He really dedicated and he really disciplined. He really disciplined himself, like, mm -hmm. to get the way he had. Bro, got a whole crown on, you feel me? <laughs> like, got a chain, you feel me? Two earrings, two, you feel me? Like, got a whole cup that looked like it's from Egypt out here, like, but he did it doing it his way. He ain't did no drugs, he, you feel me? He don't want his girls doing no drugs. He, he know what he want, he got it. Found it and just exactly. like it is today that yeah. I am considered the chairman of the board of famous players everywhere and all over the world. No and recently like, anointed so in the last with what two he years, do to get pimp that. god of all players all over the world, which is That's an accomplishment. Crazy, I didn't know that I would achieve that. Not being pimp god is showing up for fascination. But, but to be able to like become number one that, in the game for all that many years. Else, and man. when I got into the game, I just wanted a bad chick. I wanted a diamond ring, a diamond watch, a fur coat, a slick car. I it. didn't know that I was going to be a crazy. game changer in the game, that I was going to become number one, that I was going to be able to lay out game to the other player and be able to go cross country and crown and make kings in different cities. I didn't know that. I didn't know it would escalate to that. But becoming dedicated to the game made me realize it. And then the thing that made me know that I was really ready for the game, it was back in the 70s. I was on the road with a female thief, and she had went out. And then she got busted. But what she did is, they had a handcuff to one of them little rails. She got the handcuff from around the rail and jumped out the window of the police station. And we on the road, now we out of town. She come to the hotel, I'm fresh now in the game now. You know, I'm on the road with her, she already seasoned to this. And this is amazement to me, I'm on the road getting my first dollar. And here she come back to the hotel room with handcuffs. Now I'm a young buck, I'm barely 20 or 21. I mean, I'm freaked out and I'm amazed, but I didn't panic. And what I did is believe this, and this is the truth, <laughs> that I always thought about what they did on TV where they would take a bobby pin and pop the handcuff. And this the honest to God truth. So I took work. a big bobby pin 
and stuck it in there and wiggle it, pop goes the handcuff. <laughs> that was the most amazing thing to me. It proved to the chick that I was qualified to be her man. Man. Even to this day from the segment, <laughs> she's still at my beck and call. And that's yeah, over 40 some years. And I proved to myself that I was ready for the game when that happened. I'd have never thought that would work, <laughs> but I wasn't panicked and I did it. And it proved to the female that I was qualified to be her man. We left that town and drove 500 miles to the next city and continued the marathon. I have a challenge for all of you. That Go to is... every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer, and install Honey. Wait, mom, before you check out. What are the qualities that a pimp needs to be a successful pimp? The things I just explained it to you earlier is a certain criteria. You start with the female, then you go to the materialistic thing, like the car, your clothes, your jewelry, where you stay, the characteristics about you. I'm internationally known and locally accepted. I'm known all over the world. I didn't made the name Don Juan a feature. Used to be people said Don Juan, they think about some character in the 1816. You know what I mean? That was a lover, which that's what I've become, a lover. You know what I mean? And made that name a feature. I cast checks in that name. That ain't the real name. <laughs> that nigga say cast checks. You have to name. have that criteria. A lot of guys do yeah, a lot of talking. And, you know, you've seen a lot of them different videos. Pimps up, hoes down, American pimp. And they say a lot of things. But I'm the one that can clarify all of that stuff they say to whether it's official or uh, is authentic, you know? I mean, guys say a lot of he things, and it impressed a lot of people that no see it. They really there. don't know about the game, and it makes That's it seem crazy. like it. Wow, but you know what I mean. When the truth is told, you get better action out of it because a lot of that fake stuff they be saying, it just don't give you long jeopardy. And what are the qualities a pimp will look for in a woman? <laughs> uh, what are the qualities a pimp? We'll look for it. He's spooky like that, bro. The quality that a pimp need to look for in a female is whether she would give you her money. See, a chick will do a lot of things, man. She'll do a bunch of things. Don't worry about it. I go back on you, player. You know what I mean? Chicks will do a lot of things. You know what I mean? She'll suck you. She'll F you. She'll do a lot of things. But if she don't like you, she ain't gonna give you her money. So when she do that, that means she think a little bit above the normal about you. Mm. And it ain't so much about uh, you being the number one lover because you know when you pimping, you send your chick out, she getting big size, little size, fat <laughs> size, all size. But that don't <laughs> matter to her. What matters to her is to get home to the person that say that they care and love her. <laughs> that matters more than all of that. So it ain't competition for a pimp to out nail a chick than a trick. A trick job is to do just what he do. And a real female understand that. It ain't about love. It, 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 you dig? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you said, it ain't matrimony with us. It's macrimony. Yeah. <laughs> Macamoni. No, you're you're a very flashy oh, individual. Yeah, you're driving yeah, the streets yeah. of Chicago, you're driving in a custom Bentley or Rolls Royce or Cadillac, green and gold. Everything is custom. The wheels. What? Green. And that's what he got the on. The way you dress is very flashy as well. Did the police ever? God, you know, it, one man. thing about it is, <laughs> I told you, you know, <laughs> it's in the pudding. And what I mean is, what you see is what you get. You know what I mean? I can't say I'm one thing and then look another way. It's a certain way that you have to look at a pimp. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of guys out here, you know, they do the gym shoes and the blue jeans and things like that. But what I say is, Nigga, you duck in your clean. Pinky yeah. fingernails, when you do I that. ain't even see that. You did? Because, you know, as a pimp, I have changed up to four times a day. You know what I mean? You, 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 you couldn't go without a high cleanest beer. I used to pull up to the cleanest and didn't have to even go in. I've seen you 20 times. I've never seen you dressed anything less flashy than what you're wearing today. Well, what I'm saying is you when I, I used to come up to the cleanest, I used to have three bags, me and the prostitute. I didn't even have to go in. The people would come outside the cleanest, get the bag, and go back in. You know what I mean? You got the dress. It's part of the game. Ain't no getting away around it. Yeah, they talk slick no, about them blue you know jean saying, suits and they jogging yeah. suits. Yeah. I don't care if they call 10,000. They ain't going to never be the tuxedo and the white shirt out. Never. So this nigga basically became who he is today by managing money. When you think about it. Because he's saying the females go out and make the money. Mm -hmm. He don't really say nothing on how they make it. He told me he he feel me got females that go steal and all that, but when they bring they bring it all back to him, and he basically manage it, give them they cut, and yep. he keep his cut. So he ain't gotta do nothing. That yeah, is yes. crazy, bro. And this man that came up over of that <laughs> over years of doing that. Mental game, boy. He got it, boy. Oh my goodness, bro. He got that shit, dog. Pet. That is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and the one thing about it, it is, what a real mm -hmm. pimp player know that that blue jean is a workman material. Like, you don't yeah. want that on like, your skin, man. That's crazy, though. You don't crazy, even want though, to thought man. about you in a working jean overall. You don't do that. I mean, y'all get away with it because y'all playing it y'all way. Not the way of the game. I'm telling you, man, you had to be a fisher in the 70s to be even to be in the presence of real pimps. You couldn't get away with that fake game that they playing today and come all up in the middle and start talking and things. <laughs> real players gonna tell you how it is. Man, how it's the way supposed to go. It. What, what do you do when one of your girls gets out of line or does something you don't? Okay, let me tell you something about <laughs> when my girls get out of line, they got to be checked. Because, see, one thing about it is, in that pimp gang, in order to be successful, you have to create some fear in that female. You have to tell her that if she do something wrong, that you're going to kill her. Oh, oh no. And you have to instill this in her to when she do something wrong, and you whooping her and checking her, Whooping that she them. say to you, Daddy, please don't kill me like you said. Well, this nigga the soccer. <laughs> you can't play the game without creating some fear because females, oh, you know, going to check is a personality man. thing. And everybody got their own personality. And the thing about it is, in order to be a good parent, you got to put yours inside of her. It can't be her personality because she don't know. See, the thing about a female is, from yeah. birth, she being told what to do. And that's all she know is what she told. Once she a little baby, her mother and father tell her what she have to do. When she get her big brother tell her what she got to do. When she starts school, they tell her what she got to do. When she get to college, they tell her what she got to do. When she get a husband, she always used to being told what to do. So when you don't tell her what to do, she run into destruction because she didn't listen to instructions. You got to find a chick that got the same understanding and want the thing that you want. It don't have to be on your level, but the same dedication, the same drive, the same sacrifice, the same will to want to you know, neglect everything, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, in order to make this dream come true. That's what you have to do in the pimp game in order to become <laughs> successful. Serious, they have to neglect all of them things. 
but why they neglect them, you taking up on that. You make sure the mama cool, the kids cool. I didn't have chicks that had babies. <laughs> that each holiday we have to make sure they taken care of. School, back to school supplies. Had to make sure the mama is taken care of. These things that your responsibility as being a good pimp. That's you can't crazy. just go out and brag that you got a prostitute just to impress your peers or friends or folks in the neighborhood and don't know how to take care of that female. You doing injustice to the game. You breaking her down. You making her sorrow. She ain't going to want to play the game based on the experience that you gave her. She needs a real pimp that, that know that how to take what there. she give her and triple it and show her the life that she wants to live. That would make a good pimp. And that's the kind of woman that a pimp wants. That's his dream. Tell he hold it for a little bit. <laughs> Young is definitely the icing on the cake. At least 18 and over, you know. For a pimp to get a young chick that's dedicated to the game and want to be all shit she can be, it's a dream come true. It automatically elevate his game. Do you, do you think the relationship that a prostitute has with her pimp <laughs> is somehow the pimp is like a substitute for the relationship she had with her dad when she was young? That's crazy. Yeah, she, they call you daddy, things like that. Well, as I stated earlier, as a pimp, you have to become her everything. Her mother, her father, her sister, her brother. All the things that she left from, he have to become them things in order to satisfy the emptiness into her life. Damn. Yes, he take on a daddy figure because He's trying to motivate her. He's trying to grow her. He's trying to make her be something that she never thought she can be and never thought that she would be able to experience it in such a way that would acquire uh, excitement, joy, recognition. I mean, just being somebody when you thought you was a nobody, just by dedicating yourself to the gang and certain individuals. Because everybody can't make that happen. Everybody ain't got the plug. And the, and the pimps that you see today, how, do you, what, do you, what do you think of the, the pimping game today? The pimp of the day, like I was telling uh, another pimp earlier when we were speaking on the phone, ain't no young pimps can the game. OGs like myself is still can the game. We are still dedicated to the game. We are still can the flag. If I let the flag down, it wouldn't be even talked about anymore. The young player today not dedicated to the game. They dedicated to their own way of life. It have become a lot of homosexual and uh, all kind of missing lesbian and everything. You know, females going a different way at early age, guys going a different way. I mean, it just mixed up. It ain't the same honor and understanding about the male and female as it have been before. The young players today don't even care nothing about the female today. They rather be with some other transgender oh or anything. God. They don't care about females really today, and they don't care about getting money. You know what I mean? I didn't see that players today are satisfied being broke. That was a no-no in my day. We was gonna find a hustle. We wasn't gonna let it happen like that. But it's a change in time, and the bubble go around. And I don't know if I'll live to see if it get that thick, but I uphold it in my own life, so I see it every day still. You dig? My dedication, my devotion, my understanding, to say what I mean and to mean what I say, at all costs, by any means necessary. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you have children of your own? Huh? Do you have children? Yes, I do. And one thing about it, I got children. How many kids you got? Plenty of them. 
I ain't getting to them. I got plenty of kids, Damn. a lot of kids. You know, Dope, one of the seven saying about know. Papa was a Rolling Stone. That's me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> home, that's me. But that was where the money was or where the action was. There ain't never been no sucker that laid up the layup. Once I got a knowledge to what the game was all about, it all the way been, you know what I mean, success and nothing less. You did. Easy, That's the way I always took it from then at an early age, probably from 10. Damn, that's crazy. You you like I said, I was poor early by my father having she money and everything. With. But with the kids, understanding though. in my mind from then on, I had to understand, you know what I mean, that I had to that's get it. Crazy. And I didn't know how I was going to get it. Until I, bear, with pimps. Mm. Okay. They say they got the pimp. The hoes and the squares, I will be considered squares yeah. in their eyes. You feel me? Like, uh, people that's like, okay, somebody getting married, that's a square couple to them because they, they looking at it like they ain't making no, you feel me? Because that's just their perception mm -hmm. of their own life or whatever. So he's saying he got kids, right? They don't mess around with nobody but they hoes. Cause they say that that's like disrespectful for for him. Okay, say for instance, I was a pimp, right? And they're the only person you can basically sleep with. Yeah, like if I was if I was okay, my girl at a hotel, and then I end up, you feel me? She making me some money, and I sleep with the 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 lady at the front counter. Mm -hmm. That'll be disrespectful. <laughs> That'll be disrespectful to the girl that's making money for me because the girl at the counter ain't doing nothing for yeah. me. So that'll basically be him like messing around with a squirrel. So all these hoes that he had, right? He got kids, man. That, yeah, I ain't going to say he got kids by, by all of them, but probably most of the ones where he do got kids is from his females that, that he been, you feel me, that's in his uh, stable. Yeah. So if he done passed down or has been swapping out people, like he might lose one and get another one. If he been having kids type Jake, then you got, you got families that's, that's being created basically with a mother who was a hoe that ain't got her pimp no more or might still do got her pimp. You feel me? But the child, like, think Yo, about what they think about what they got. That like, that's but... crazy. Like, you still, like, okay, he making money, you feel me? He got his dedication and stuff. And he say he that. take care of everybody. But uh -huh. that's 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 him and his stable that he talking about. Like, yeah. What about the kids? Cause I was looking at other videos like this, too. Like, it's some people up there, they kids. Like, they got kids, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But some of them locked up. Like they kids just, locked up. Yeah, like they kids done got locked up. They basically like trouble kids because mm -hmm. they ain't got no father figure. So I ain't going to, you feel me, on, on, like I said, on, on judge. But at the same time, bro, like, I don't think that's a good idea. If you can't yeah. really make a living and, and really, you know what I'm saying, like be stable for you and your family and making sure, like, you can keep an eye on everything, then they ain't no good occupation, bro, like. That's just me though, you feel me? I don't know about all that. I discovered that I was a ladies man. I don't, I don't know, make man. it happen like that. But you know, my game was teaching the lady. I wasn't disrespecting her. I was showing her way. I would check her if she got out of line. I never beat my girl for not getting money because they love you know. getting money. They didn't have no problem getting money. As he a matter of fact, I can tell you a story he, about how much they love getting then, money. But he said he ain't going to beat them about My girl was him. locked up in the county jail, and they knocked another chick, which was a white girl, took 500 from her, brought it home. I don't know nothing about it. Another pimp come to me and say, hey, man, your girl took you know, money from my chick in jail and everything. What I did is confronted my chicks and gave him a little chastisement because I said that ain't the way the game go. And I gave the man his trap back to him, you know, as a respectable gentleman to the game, you know what I mean? But I let the chick know I appreciate what you were trying to do, but you know that ain't the way to do it. 
other chicks coming up into the game, you can't discourage them by robbing or taking their money in the bullpen, you know what I mean, while y'all locked up. So, you know what I mean? You got to play this game fair, and the gang will be fair to you. That's why I got almost over 50 years in the game. And it don't look like it's slowing down in it. My age is escalating, but my gang is too. The knowledge, the <laughs> understanding, you did, where I can play it and continue to receive the royalties of the game because I gave to the game, and now the game give back to me. And that's what it's about. Well, the thing about me is I love for the truth to get out, and especially when it's about the game, because it's my life and it's what I'm about, you know what I mean? I don't mean it about it to keep playing it, but about it because I'm aware of the knowledge that the gang exists still, you know what I mean? And it's going to continue to exist to somebody turn the lights out on this small planet. And it looked like they're trying to pull a switch with this coronavirus, you dig? So, you know what I mean? We got to continue to stay safe, stay aware, and play the game fair. Ain't no fast or slick or a different route to the top. You got to grind your way. You can't cheat the game. The game know how much you put in it, and it's going to give you only what you put in. That's what you're going to get out of it. So if you ain't number one, it's because you ain't playing number one quality. You got to become number one material to become number one. Oh, now that's church. Oh, damn. Church. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's the video. You know, it's, uh, it's a pip. Interview Bishop Don Juan. You know, like, subscribe. Uh, oh, he's uh, not let Indian. us know if, uh, if you want. Uh, <laughs> let us know if you want some more videos like this. Uh, yeah. You know, it's uh, or you know, comment. You know, tell us what you want us to uh, to do next. You know, but anyways, this has been a uh, Bishop Don One, Don Magic One. You know, uh, you know this is a. Uh, See, man, it's all we have for you today. You no, know, we we'll have more videos for you soon. Uh, that's been uh, it's been nice, you know. It's, uh, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye, man. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>